I'm here with my fuck nigga. Wow. My grandma just died. I'm the man of that. Cause I can't. So I'm going overtime and the overtime. I'm here for a good time, not a long time. You know I. Way up, I feel blessed. Here goes nothing. Yo, out front. All right, man, see. So, oh man, the lighting's bad. I'm starting the day off by reuniting with an old friend. <laughs> what up, fool? Hey. Hey, you? Good, bro. Chill. I kept shit in the camera, man. I know, I saw that. <laughs> People don't know you in this world, dude. What up, what up? Oh, it's too, too dark, man. We'll continue this in a minute. I feel bad yeah. when I say something. Me. So what I tell me? Jeez! It's gonna take me longer to say it. Jesus! Like that! Right now we can actually see you, man. You know the people haven't seen you on this channel? They're about to see me more often. <laughs> Be ready for it. We came with Hubble Hookah. I think the last time I did hookah was probably like two years ago in Florida when I went to Tampa. Nigga, is that the same tripod you took to the Drake concert? <laughs> Yo, my shit was hitting in the bush. <laughs> so for people who don't know my old channel, this man is actually featured in my biggest viewed video ever, which was the Drake Summer 16. That was Summer 16, dude. I was still. It hasn't been that far since I've since we talked. Kanye West came out and all that shit. That video, I think, is at like 16 or 17 thousand views. It's not bad. For nobody on YouTube, this it's pretty good, man. <laughs> we're reuniting. It's been like a year off, and we're just catching up right now. You gotta tell anything to the new fans. Be ready. That's all I gotta say. There's pineapple express and pineapple mango. Man, you know that you carrying it like a microphone. What's up, Mike? Check, Mike. Check one, two. One. <laughs> Don't blow in it. Now. You're fucking on. <laughs> Fucking go and start jumping at the Wait, what time do you wake up? I wake up every morning at 5.30. What's up, bro? You want it? <laughs> what is that? What's up, bro? <laughs> that ain't my life anymore, man. <laughs> so you're not gonna get anything as far as that, bro? I know we're friends, but <laughs> I don't know where you've been last year, bro. <laughs> and for the people watching out there, if you're wondering why we're sitting on the same side, it's because we're recording. So after what, like it's been an hour, we've just been chopping it up, catching up. We can't put everything on the camera because, you know, some personal stuff. How old are you now, bro? 26. This guy right here, who I'm sitting next to, I just gotta say, dude, you've been one of the realest guys I've met that have come across my life. And to be able to reunite with you today, and I'm not saying this just because of the camera, I said this off camera, but like, I appreciate you, man. And sometimes you gotta, you gotta step outside your world and look at the people around you and appreciate people. And you're one of them I wanna like, reconnect with. And, uh, what do you mean? I'm not laughing at you, bro. Like, that's, that's, that's a true honest, handshake right there, man. That's, an honest, that's the honest truth, bro. Did you see the Tupac move? You're a big Tupac fan. Did you like it or no? I went to the theater four times. Stop. I'm serious. To watch that movie? Yeah, I went with my friend Wendy. I went with Francisco. Okay. How was he I doing? went with my sister. He's doing good. He actually got him a really bad car crash, bro. He almost died. Like they got, he got to the hospital. And they told him, you have one hour to live. And he made it through. I was sipping that Henny in the fucking theater. Uh -huh. yeah. You would be the guy that's sitting yeah, there. Did you pour it? Did you pour it out of the Henny? 64. <laughs> Not like that either. <laughs> Nigga, I poured it when he died and I got up. <laughs> so we just got out of Humble Hookah. How'd you like it, man? Yeah. Nigga got jokes.
fuck, it's cold as a mother. All right, I need to know, did you watch the two fights of this year? The Mayweather and McGregor. Yeah, okay. What about the other one? Canelo, Canelo and, and, and uh, Triple G? Yeah. That was a good ass fight, man, but- Who'd you Triple, think won? Triple G, bro. Okay, thank you. That, bro. Hands down. Bro. Thank you, bro, because I made a video and I watched it with a group of people. Yeah. And they're like, oh, it's a tie. I was, <laughs> that was no tie, bro. People need to know that this is the man I met when I was 18 years old. I was a freshman in college. Mm -hmm. And I, do you remember what, how we met? Yeah. Well, what class was it? Oh, uh, Spanish Yes, class. sir. It was a Spanish <laughs> class. Mind you, I failed that class. Don't ask me how. That lady played a trick on me, man. She got me. That old lady, she retired after that. But I must have been her last joke because she thought what she did to me was funny. But that's beside the point. I, I remember they put us in a group and we met and like we just clicked. I know you don't watch these videos, but the one thing I say throughout all these videos is the one saying, and people need to know where it came from. It came from you. The whole money comes, money goes. <laughs> Bro, I use it in every because like you use it in any scenario. This man right here, Ivan, is the guy I got that quote from. And he taught me when I was like 18. Like I remember you used to say like, yo, it's Friday night, we ain't coming home until Sunday. Like whatever, <laughs> like some crazy stuff. And I was like, what? The I'm night like, is young. The night is young. That's another quotable. From 18 to what? I want to say like, until uh -huh. the time I was able to get to get into these clubs legally, like, man, this guy, not only did you get me in, we parked, man. Got crazy history, too. There's a lot of crazy stuff people don't see. But I do want to give a couple flashbacks throughout this video. If you haven't noticed the first one, it's always us in the car. Like, just singing to Drake, singing to whatever the song is of the time. Here's one of those. Ah, Bamba Clown. Is this Tui? Bamba Clown. They had these visions. Nigga, this weather the reminds me of the day we went to LA with your friend. It. And then they would take her. We're like, what the fuck? She'd come back all sweaty in her hair. We're like, oh my. She's a slut, bro. Huh? She was a, the biggest. Big up, Rich! Everything good with you? Everything good, man. Just so, chilling, working, working out spending this money but it's true though man money does come money does go and i gotta say thank you for teaching me that at an early age like one thing that I, i've learned with this man is like yo like it's all about memories there's no beef between us it's just in a way we fell off yeah right and this is i don't want to get too serious in this video but like i saw you going in a in a path in your life that i wasn't liking like you would hit me every day and you'd be like, yo, come through. I got the bottle. I got a box wine. You know what I'm saying? We're about to get, we get these 40s. And I was like, <laughs> uh, like, that's the main reason. Like I'll tell you now, like straight up as a man, that's the one reason. And I tried, bro. I tried to help you. And I was like, yo, like as a friend, like, yo, you got to chill. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you're your own man. And I'm not going to, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. Right. So I backed away and then, you know, I, life happened and I lived my life and you know time has come and now we're back together no more yeah throw that have you heard any Drake throughout the year bro he dropped a lot of music not nah, recently now nah, I became more of a weekend fan man. by the way I have to tell you you know Drake's been shouting me out for like the last year no. people don't even know bro here this is the first song and this kind of kind of deals with the whole money situation not to say that I'm like rich or I'm well off right now but this song Right now, Drake is going to talk about an age that he was in, right? That's how old I am right now. And listen to what he's saying. At 17, I wanted everything that was in store. At 23, I bought it all just to make sure. Hey, I'm not... Billboard while I play. I like this, Drake. He just talks his shit. He's like, nigga, I got it all. This is the one song that... He couldn't give me a bigger shout-out than this, bro. Listen to, like, the first, the first verse. Like, he just... Wrote this shit, January 21. Wait, wait, wait. Baby. Rewind that shit. Did you hear what he just said? January 21. Nigga, whose birthday is January 21, nigga? <laughs> Out of every... He had 365 days. He picks my... Wrote this, this shit, January 21. 21. I'll be back in a couple months. Kendall turned 21. She was down to shoot 21. They can see me online, but they won't see me on the ones. I got Dubai plates and the California, and the California state. state. I got a waiting at my place. I got no baby on the wait. I'm talking baby like stun him. I'm, I'm talking, talking baby, baby like face. But I'm happy to see you finally got your EXO sweater after five years. Where'd you get it, bro? From H&M. I like the size. Okay, okay, I see. Oh, the Tiger. Oh, okay, it's pretty. I like that sweater. Dude, it's like 100, 100 bucks right now. Uh, eBay. Jesus Christ, dude. What do you think about the wings? The 
good or no? I'm going straight to the fucking artery. It's good, bro. It was good. Did it feel you? Oh, damn. I'm out here cleaning people's cars. What the fuck? Man, for me, it's been a good minute since I had Hooters. <laughs> and, uh. Nigga, they stole your car, bro. Oh, shit. Fucking thousand views of video, nigga. What's up? Fuck, no light. No sun, that baby. Tu cuerpo sabe que le va a ser Y cuando tus piernas temblaban Lo decían de la llanta Que le mando con el dinero No se pierde ilusiones No sabe lo que va a ser about it bro they give him some dance moves nigga you're the original dance move guy bro you're fucking every drake song right here uh, it's not right here i think so i show you the piss down the piss down i'm not in my party mode today i apologize you can give him a one two step hit him with the shoulder bro show the people your fucking move nigga come on you gotta break it out for them break it out they don't know the move dude i'll break out my old move Mind you, we're in a fucking car. We don't have our leg. It's all upper movement. <laughs> I'm like, what was your move though? They can show them your uppercutting me one time with that move. We're, we're fucking out and about. This nigga was like, yo, I was like, break the move. He's in the club dancing out of nowhere. I was like, what the fuck? It was like 10 feet away. I was like, what the fuck? Those are just the slingshot, nigga. Damn, the song's still going? Pone caliente cuando se yeah, I wonder what people think when they look at us and like, I don't give no fuck. I'm a vlogger. That's what I do. What are you on right now, Ivan? The outro for this video is gonna be me breaking some news to my mom, which was earlier today. Don't think that's random, it's actually in purpose. Once again, bro, thanks again for today. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, appreciate you, man. Oh, this is my sister, by the way. Hello, girls. Hello, drinks. Hello, the time. Alright, stay tuned. So with all that being said, I'll see you next week. ¿Qué va a ser papá? ¿Qué voy a ser papá? No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm moments away from telling my mom something I have to tell her, but she just guessed that I should. Oh my God, no matter you tell it, digo, relax. Digo, me pues. Okay, here's your, here's the live reaction to everybody watching out there. Lo que sí le toca decir es que